Creating a system on a budget can be painful. However, updated functionality from Rockwell has brought about new opportunities that make that happen. In this video, we will cover the hardware and software setup for the Micro 800 controllers to control Point I.O., PowerFlex 525 drives, and Kinetics 5100 drives over Ethernet. First, let's review the hardware, since Rockwell has changed the actual hardware part numbers to indicate this new functionality. All Micro 800 products that have an E after the series identifier have the capability of controlling devices over Ethernet. For example, the 2080-L50E is the beginning of the part number for numbers of the Micro 850. The 50 is the series identifier and that number could be a 20 or a 70. All of these models will have this capability as long as the part number has an E following that number. Once we identified a controller that has the correct capabilities, then we need to select an IO adapter or drive to work with the controller. For SIP control, the Micro 800s are limited to controlling the 1734 AENTR IO Ethernet adapter or a PowerFlex 523 or 525 drive or a Kinetics 5100 drive set up for IO mode. In this demo, we have set up a Micro 850 with the part number of 2080-L50E-24QBB, a PowerFlex 525 drive with part number 25B- V2P5N104 and a Kinetics 5100 drive with part number 2198-E1004-ERS. But for this video, we will focus on using the Kinetics 5100 with our Micro 850. Once you have the proper hardware, you will also need to ensure that you have the correct firmware and software combination. The Micro 850 firmware must be version 21 or newer, and you must be using software version 21 or newer. Consistent with how CCW works, as long as the software is at the same or greater level than the firmware, then you will always be able to program that device. Now that we know what hardware and firmware, we will continue with our demo that uses firmware version 21 and software version 22. The next step to set up the PLC is setting an IP address along with the other equipment. In our demo, the PLC has an IP of 192.168.1.5, the HMI is .6, and the Kinetics is .51. With all the hardware ready, we need to program the necessary configuration for the PLC and the drive. To start, you should download the latest user-defined function blocks or UDFBs released by Rockwell. To get these, navigate to Rockwell's Product Compatibility and Download Center, or PCDC for short. When on the PCDC page, select the link Download by Product. Then, on the next page, use the search bar and search for Kinetics 5100. This will bring up both the firmware for the drive as well as the UDFBs. Select UDFB and then select the latest revision. Once in the column on the right, select the small download arrow next to the description. This will then download the download manager or you can choose to use direct download. Once you have this downloaded, you will see that it is actually a CCW archive project with a file extension of .ccwarc. This project will need to be imported into CCW. Open CCW, then select File, Import Project. When the new window opens, search to the Downloads folder or wherever you place the archive file. Then select the Open button. This will rebuild a new project file with a Micro 850 along with a 7-inch PanelView 800. Luckily, our project matches the same part numbers as the archive file, so no part numbers need to be changed. But now is the time to change them if you have different hardware. 
After the import completes, we will open the Micro 850 configuration window by double clicking on the controller icon shown in the project organizer. Once the configuration window is open, we will select the ethernet setting page in the lower left window. This is where we set the IP address for the controller in our project. Then we will select the plus symbol to expand the options under ethernet settings. The expanded menu now shows modules that can be configured. We will select the add button and in the window, give it a name. Ours will be Kinetics 5100. Then select the type dropdown. You will have a choice of a 523, a 525, or 5100. If you wanted to set up point IO, you need to leave it as a generic device. In our example, we are going to select Kinetics 5100, then choose our catalog number which is 2198-E1004-ERS. The IP address of the drive, which is 192.168.151, and a connection of data with camming. Then we will change the major revision to four and leave the minor revision at zero, but change the electronic keying to compatible module. We will leave the rest of the configuration set to default and now the PLC configuration for the drive communications is configured and we will select the OK button. Since we have already imported a configured project, we do not need to develop any additional programming. But the UDFBs that were added are the device block, MAFR, MAG, MAH, MAI, MAJ, MAM, MAS, MAT, MSF, and MSO. We will primarily be interfacing with the on button, home button, jog button, incremental move button, absolute move, and fault reset instructions because our HMI project has those buttons already created. You could export these UDFBs and use them in your own project, or you could start building your own logic from what was imported. Now we need to download this code for both the PLC and the HMI in order to prepare to run the Kinetics 5100. If you wanted to set up the drive first and run it from its configuration software, then you'd want to wait to the end to download to the PLC. Next, we will need to configure the Kinetics 5100 drive, which requires the KNX 5100C software to be installed on our computer. If you do not have that installed, then you need to get it from the Rockwell PCDC. Once the software is installed, we need to assign an IP address to the drive. This can be done with the keypad on the front of the drive or through the KNX 5100 software. After the IP is set, we will need to connect to the drive, then configure it in the software. To program the 5100, we need to plug into the mini USB port on the front of the drive. In the software, we need to right click on the function list toolbar and select add project. Give the drive a name and select the proper COM port assigned to your computer based on your USB connection. Once the drive is added, it will launch the parameter list for the Kinetics 5100. At this time, you should check the drive IP address settings to confirm that you have the proper address in the configuration. For our demo, our drive was set to 192.168.151. Then we will need to select the settings tab and change the device operation mode to IO mode. There are many different modes of control, but IO mode allows the PLC to take control of the drive remotely and issue commands. We will also leave the full closed loop control disabled, which is shown on the settings tab. Next, we will select the motor selection. In our demo, we are using a TL-A120P motor. On the motor selection page, we will change the data source to catalog number and find our proper motor. We will hit next and leave everything as the default data, then select download. This will transfer the motor information to the drive. This should be all the required steps to set up a drive to allow the Micro 850 to control the drive externally. There may be additional steps needed to optimize and tune the drive, but that will not affect our functionality today. Now that the drive is configured, 
we will make sure that we have downloaded and save our project to keep the settings saved offline. We will then want to go offline with the drive to ensure that there are no communications issues that occur between the PLC control and our laptop connected to the drive. With all three devices being configured and downloaded to, our system is now functional. We can move our motor so that the witness mark is set above the photo eye. Then we will press the servo on button followed by the home button. I will set the desired frequency to 10 Hertz and then tell the servo to jog. This will keep track of the position and run until we command it to stop. Then we will hit the absolute move button and the servo will spin backwards until it reaches the one position. We have one programmed as the desired position, but we could have changed that if we wanted to. Now we will hit the relative move button, which will tell the motor to increase one more revolution. We can hit this a few times and you can see it increments by one each time. Then we can hit the absolute move button again to bring it back to the one position. This makes for an inexpensive yet capable small scale system utilizing the newest series Micro 850 controllers along with the Kinetics 5100 drives. As always, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please contact your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.